So guys, in two minutes, how do you identify the thoracic vertebra from the cervical vertebra and the lumbar vertebra? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify this in swift seconds. Make sure you're stationary and stay tuned. See you soon. Yes, these are the lumbar vertebrae, this is the thoracic vertebrae, and this is the cervical vertebrae. How did I know? See, the lumbar vertebrae has a shorter spine, but for the thoracic, it has a longer spine. You can see the spine is long in the thoracic. Now, this is the cervical. You can see the way the cervical spine is. It has a bifid process, like, like looking like a fork. You see? So that is the way the cervical um, spine looks like. But the atlas and the axis, so for the atlas, it has only the anterior and the posterior tobacco. Then this one has a spine, which is still coming up. It has a bifid process. Then this is the dense of the axis. So another difference is you can see the vertebral body in the lumbar vertebra is very thick. You see the vertebral body very thick. But if you look at that of the thoracic vertebra, it's not too thick, it's just light. Then you can see the vertebral body of the cervical vertebra so flat. Another one is the vertebral foramen. You see the vertebral foramen of the atlas is wider. See this one is wider. The vertebral foramen, this place where the spinal cord will pass through. You can see that this one is round for the thoracic vertebra but for the lumbar vertebra you can see that this one is kind of heart shape or doom shape or kind of semicircular shape you see this is where the spinal cord will pass through good so that is another point okay so i've decided to pick one of the thoracic vertebrae okay, okay look at the thoracic vertebrae very well this is the transverse coastal facet you can see it's this this facet this place is the transverse coastal facet then this is the superior articular facet and this is the spine like i told you in cervical it has a bifid process but this is just a straight spine and long this is the body so towards this area you see the coastal facet where it attaches to the coastal cartilage of the rib is at this side you see the coastal facet in the thoracic vertebrae do you get and now this is what we differentiate this one from this one this vertebra i can say this is the t12 vertebra and the l1 vertebra now the t12 vertebra also have a fatter body like as the l1 vertebra but how do you know that and it also has a short spine you can see as well say this is the l1 vertebra you see that the transverse process the transverse process is short you see this transverse process in this maybe let's say this one is l5 vertebra you can see that transverse process is long do you get then look at the way the spine is looking like do you get it okay so this is the vertebra for me i've said that this is the vertebra body and look at the pendicle this place is the pendicle where's my thoracic vertebra this is two points this is the pendicle this one is the pendicle good okay so another thing you should note is this lumbar vertebra has a mammillary body this is the mammillary body and it has an accessory process just underneath it you see this accessory process so unlike the thoracic vertebrae that just has a transverse process this transverse process which you see here this one has a transverse process and an accessory process do you get so that is another reason this one has a superior articular facet just like you have in this one the superior articular facet that's what you see here the superior articular facet so that's for the thoracic vertebra and this is for the lumbar vertebra moving to this cervical vertebra i said this is the atlas which is the c1 vertebra it has the anterior tobacco close to this inferior articular surface and you have the posterior tobacco here and this is the posterior arc this is the anterior arc then you have the transverse process this way you can see the way this one's transverse process is looking like and this one has a transverse foramen unlike others that do not have a transverse foramen this has a transverse foramen so this is another reason it has a transverse foramen no transverse foramen no transverse foramen do you get that okay so we've said this is the um, inferior articular surface of the lateral mass of the axis then this is the vertebral foramen which is very wide do you get that okay so coming back to this one which is the axis t2 it has a dense but unlike this one it doesn't have a dense so this could be a similarity they give you specimen a and specimen b identify a and b you say this is the axis and you say this is the atlas and they tell you give two reasons so you now say this one has a dense this doesn't have a dense this has anterior and posterior tobacco this doesn't have this one has a transverse foramen and a transverse process then this one also have a transverse for process do you get this one has a spinous process sorry not this this one has a spinous process in the spinous process beefy but this one doesn't have a spinous process you guys have brought up plenty reasons for you okay so this is we're back to here this is the dense spinous process and this place is the inferior articular 
so you look at where the dense is facing so this particular place is the superior articular facet for the atlas remember this was the inferior articular facet for the um axis so this is the superior articular facet for the atlas then here you have the inferior articular process superior inferior articular process this one articulates with the atlas why this one articulates with the axis are you good to go okay so that's that and should they ask you differences you should be able to state differences between these two and should they ask you a difference between this and this you should be able to state that and if they ask you difference between this and this you should be able to state that and if they ask you differences between this and these two you should be able to say that so in two minutes guys okay guys thank you for watching so i'm going to be wrapping it up with these questions c7 looks like t1 vertebra true or false Okay, so you've agreed, right? So what's the unique feature that differentiates C7 from T1 vertebra? Let me hear you. Okay, guys, then the final technical question is, cervical vertebra is always all the time devoid of coastal facets. True or false? Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. All right, so guys, don't take these questions for granted. You can hear them in your Viva questions and you don't want to fail those questions. Do you get it? Okay, so I'll be ending this video here. Do well to subscribe to this channel, like this video, subscribe to this channel. That's how you help your girl grow. Bye.